In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Anki to study uh, your vocab or other things that you would normally study in a, a flashcard environment um, here on TextFugu. So I, I've created a lot of lists that you can uh, use with Anki to, to help further your learning, to uh, get better at certain things, and uh, to use alongside of TextFugu uh, to, to speed up your learning and help you to memorize the things that you need to memorize. And the first thing that uh, you have to memorize is hiragana. So uh, I'm going to show you how to study your first five kana using Anki. Uh, at this point, you should have uh, downloaded the hiragana file from, uh, from TextFugu. And you should have opened the file, and it should show up in Anki kind of like this. And you can go ahead and get started just by clicking Open once it's inside of the application. So I'm going to click open this deck and right here um, you're going to have some different options and because we're only studying the first five right now uh, it's going to change so you're going to want to change it back later but because we're only studying the first five we're going to go to time boxing and then uh, we're going to limit the session to five uh, questions. Uh, we can look at some other things here you can change things if you want but uh, that should all be good. And once you've changed uh, the limit of questions here in time boxing to five, you can go ahead and hit go ahead and hit review. And so Anki does things in a really interesting way. Um, and as long as you're really honest about it, it's actually really, really good. And it'll help you learn a lot faster. If you're not honest with yourself, then uh, you might have some problems. But I mean, think about it. You're studying for yourself uh, so that you can get better at Japanese, not because you have to. So you might as well try and do a really good job at it. So this is the first kana. It's uh, ah, but say we don't know that. Uh, we're not sure what it is. It doesn't matter uh, whether you do it or not. Uh, you're going to hit show answer. Ah, and uh, it actually plays audio. So I figured out how to put audio in there so that um, you know how to pronounce it as well. So now you know that ah means ah, right? It's, uh, it's the hiragana ah. So say we didn't know that. We weren't really sure what this was. We see the answer and sure enough we had no idea. Uh, so we're gonna hit the soon button because we don't really we don't know what it is. And that, that basically what that does is it uh, it's gonna make that card come back a lot sooner uh, because uh, it knows that we don't know it and it will uh, help you learn it uh, by showing it to you more often than the word than the uh, kana that you do know better. So for example, we do know this one, let's say, we know this is E. I'm going to show answer, E, and uh, oh, that was so easy. Uh, I knew it in like, the back of my hand. We're going to hit very easy. That means it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back in seven days. So you have to know it really well if you're going to hit this, otherwise you won't see it again for a while. All right, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's say we kind of knew that one, but uh, not too sure. We'll hit good. Eh, eh, that one was easy. So we're going to hit easy. And then O, oh. which uh, we're going to pretend like we don't know, we're going to hit soon. So you've gone through those, those five hiragana. Uh, you don't have to know them really well now. I just want you to have gone through it once to try out the, the application to get a feeling for it. That's the hardest part is just using it and trying it and starting to use it. Um, and then from there, you should be, uh, you should be totally fine. We're going to use this a lot more going forward. Um, move on to the next page of this chapter. and. Uh, you'll uh, continue studying the first five hiragana as well um, and then all the rest of the hiragana too and it's all laid out step by step to make it nice and easy for you. If you have any questions as always feel free to email me and I'll be happy to help.